Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. There is a petition circulating. This is really hard to see to remove the title Duke and Duchess of Sussex from Meghan and Markle and, uh, and Prince Harry. Okay, and it's circulating in Brighton and Hove. Uh, Brighton and Hove, which are part of Sussex. We, the undersigned, petition Brighton and Hove Council to reject the usage of the titles Duke of Sussex and Duchess of Sussex by the individuals Henry, uh, quotations, Harry Windsor and Rachel Meghan Markle as morally wrong and disrespectful to the county of East Sussex. As residents of Brighton and Hove, we call on Brighton and Hove Council to not refer to these individuals by such titles which we believe to be entirely non-democratic, true, and symbolic of the oppression of the general public by the wealthy elite. Neither will Brighton Council invite or entertain these individuals, nor afford them any hospitality or courtesies above and beyond that of an ordinary member of the public. The petition aims to establish a precedent that Brighton and Hove Council will no longer, okay, started by Charles Ross. And as of today, 905 people have signed this position, petition. Uh, if 1,250 people sign, it gets discussion at the council on October 24th. 2019. So I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, so let's let's read a little bit. Calls to ban Duke and Duchess of Sussex from Brighton and Hove. A campaign has been launched to strip the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their link to the county. His campaign, okay, which so far has only six signatures. Okay, as of this morning, it has 905. So this was written on July 31st. Three days later, it went from six signatures to 905. The city council will be presented the petition before a full council meeting on October 24th. The petition will need 1,250 signatures to be dated by to be debated by the councillors. Okay, so if it gets 1,250, it'll be uh, debated. So what is a duke? Uh, typically a duke, this title was granted to Harry on his marriage date, May 19th, 2018. He became the Duke of Sussex. Okay, and Meghan by marriage became the Duchess of Sussex. Uh, historically, a duke all, he would basically be the governor and the owner of all of the land of Sussex. And so everyone and everything in it, every cow, every sheep, every goat, every chicken, and all the people uh, were the property of the duke. And they would pay a tribute to the duke every year of, you know, whatever, like 10%. So every, all the crops that they would grow... Uh, all the animals that they would farm, the duke would get 10%, and that was the source of his income. And, you know, he he ran the police, he ran any kind of military, uh, he was the government, he was the final judge. Uh, so that's how he acted. He was the governor and the judge and ran the police. Uh, nowadays, it's just completely... You know, he doesn't get any tribute. That tribute is given to the British government in a much more impersonal way. So, you know, it is, uh, it, it doesn't really mean anything anymore. It's just a, it's an honorary title at this point. Uh, Duke of Sussex. Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's, you know, just hearkening back to 
antiquity and that's how things were done. Let's look at the removal of the titles. Okay, let's do a mini. Uh, is this real? Are they angry? Are they feeling vindictive? Uh, is this a publicity stunt? Let's just look at it. They seem angry to me. And I think they're going to get a vote on this. Let's look at the removal of the titles. Well, there's the full stoppage and removal. Hmm. The people. The people of Sussex. It's interesting how recent, you know, Harry and Meghan, Harry became the Duke of Sussex. He became the Duke of Sussex on his wedding day, May 19th, last year. Okay, let's look at this. The removal of the titles. Okay, uh, diamond ring, you know, the title, link, nine spades, cut it, stop it, it's over. And the deep-rooted, the history... Uh, link to the history and they want to stop it. Uh, the land and the royalty and the player is hmm on their mind they just don't like they don't the player is about uh, the player is about public persona, what they're doing in public. you know you're you're uh, unconsciously uh, biased you know, the public presentation, and this is the monarch, and these are the people under the monarch. This is, I pulled this one off the bottom. So, uh, I don't see, they don't like what Harry and Meghan are doing. They don't like it. They don't like how they're representing the people. Let's look at this player, and they just want to cut it. They don't want to associate themselves with Harry and Meghan because they don't like what they're doing. And that's very reasonable. And because they don't hold real uh, physical power anymore, it's all just PR. It's all just the words coming out of their mouth and, and the movement, which on the movement of opinion and peoples, that's still very powerful. But it's also very intangible. They're media personalities now. So what is this player? Cross, Executioner, Angel. Hmm. Okay, so the most permanent cards are Ten Diamonds and the Cross. So the Executioner, Cross, and Angel, uh, they're cutting... So the player, the public representation, is cutting the permanent structure, 20, 31, eight clubs for the world. All this virtue signaling, the, I, I, would rep, I would interpret the angel as virtue signaling, the, the represent, representation of false virtue signaling. We just saw Harry give a very barefoot speech at the Google Illuminati thing in Italy. And he's talking about climate change, and they dumped 10, 800 uh, tons of extra carbon in the air. These Illuminati just getting there to talk about how you're destroying the environment by using plastic straws. Uh, and, and they probably used a whole bunch of plastic straws while they were there. So the people don't like, they just feel like they're just completely departed from the history, the long, long history with this virtue signaling business. And they're reacting to the big change. Okay, things have really changed. Uh, the Meghan and Harry are so far off script that, that the people of Sussex don't want to be associated with them. They just don't feel that they honor uh, England. Yeah. So I would agree. 
I feel like Harry and Meghan, it's just the Harry and Meghan show. And every word that they say, everything that they do, literally uh, either has nothing to do with the royal family or goes directly against what the royal family represents and the messaging of the royal family. They're just in complete rebellion at this point. So will they get 1,250 signatures and come to a vote? I would note that on the date of this article, three days before, they had six signatures, and three days later, they had today, they have 905. Okay, will it come to a vote uh, on 1024? Yes. Well, that makes sense. It's almost there, almost there. Nines are almost there. And by the way, you can vote. You know, I'm going to put a link in the description. You can vote for this. You can sign this petition. I'll give you the link. Okay, so nines are almost there. 18, 23, six clubs. So officially and deeply rooted decision. Yes, this will come to a vote about this title and the long history. It will come to a decision. And... Uh, Mustard seed is the literal petition and the vote, the vote about the uh, the title, uh, Mother Earth, uh, the the Earth title. It's very earthy. Will Meghan and Harry will their PR intervene to prevent this? They probably should. Will will they do dirty deeds done dirt cheap? Or done very expensively, because they really like to throw money around. Will Meghan and Harry intervene to prevent their PR? Straight razor, roadblock, <laughs> nine diamonds, yep. All right, so five spades, yeah, they want to block it. They want to cut it and block it. So they will take specific actions to cut it and block it. Ten, three diamonds, trinity. They're going to use everything they have to stop this, to stop it and to block it from coming to a vote. And Mercury is, is very fast, and Mercury can be kind of deceptive. Mercury is deceptive talking and very fast, but it's also electronic communication, and this is an electronic petition. So they're going to do everything they can to stop this, elect, this electronic position, petition from coming to a vote. Will Meghan and Harry appear uh, in Sussex before the vote for a PR event to, you know, make positive PR? They probably should. They should probably, if they can, they should probably show up in Sussex, you know, and give everybody free beer or something. Will Meghan and Harry appear? Or, you know, the people are so angry that they don't want them to appear in Sussex, and then that would backfire. So will Meghan and Harry appear in Sussex for a PR event? Cornucopia, Roses, Jacob's Ladder. Hmm. Okay, eight and eight, sixteen, four spades, coffin, the man, good man, everything, you know, night, beautiful appearance, escalation. They're going to be very quiet about it. Um, there's no travel cards here. They're going to do everything they can to block this, and they're going to work from behind the scenes. So I don't really see them... A, you know, making a splash appearance in Sussex, you know, the Duke and Duchess, yay, the Duke and Duchess are here, we're having a big parade. I don't see them doing that, but I do see them working everything they can to block it and stop it. Uh, what is the royal family uh, thinking at this point? Because it's really a moving target, and they, uh, Meghan and Harry were just being trolled on the forces of change. 
uh, from inside the palace. So there's some crazy stuff going on in the palace. What is the royal family? Are they for or against? Are they going to... Do they like that this is embarrassing Harry and Meghan yet again? It's just another uh, another straw on the camel's back. You know, do, what's the royal family's position? Are they going to push? Are they for this removal or just to embarrass them and they know it won't happen, but it's a nice embarrassment? Are they against it? Are they going to stay neutral? What's the royal family going to do? No, that makes sense. Magi, Fox, hmm. Because literally, I mean, if you want to be technical about it, the palace could have actually be, you know, had this, initiated this petition to remove them. You know, even though the queen granted this title a year ago, and she can remove it, but it's better to kill with a borrowed sword, you know, have some random guy start it up in Sussex and, and be outraged. It's more powerful because it seems like there's more people involved, and it does get more people involved. So hand in hand, heart, four-leaf clover. Uh, Ace of Hearts is good intentions for all the people and acting very opportunistically. So 11, three clubs. So they're, the royal family position is they want the best for everyone in the situation. And that's the action that they're going to take. But the, what's on the bottom, what's hiding on the bottom is the Magi, the Fox, and the Incubus Succubus. So... Uh, 25, 31, eight clubs. So the Magi manifest, the, the, the fox has very specific goals, and the incubus succubus is a bad relationship. So even though they're playing a double game, on the surface, the royal family, their position is we want what's best for everybody, and we're just going to very opportunistically uh, do what needs to be done. And this is how they do everything. Okay, but behind the scenes, they're going to manifest and move the pieces around in the soured situation. Uh, so they have a lot of power to influence this. They're going to basically uh, appear to stay out of it uh, and react to whatever happens as it happens, the four clubs. Okay, but behind the scenes, they have a lot of power to really influence this. And we're showing, uh, you know, again, a soured situation. It's very soured. I mean, they were just trolled by the palace over the forces of change, the Vogue forces of change, picking, you know, 15 people. They were just trolled, like yesterday. So uh, there's, you know, there's some real push and pull in the palace. And this is showing, again, they don't show you what's going on on the surface, but behind the scenes, they're really pushing and pulling and and manifesting their will. It's not clear to me what they want yet, but there's a little there's definitely some sour grapes in the in the palace. Okay, as demonstrated especially by the Vogue all that Vogue stuff going on and the Instagram Vogue stuff right now. Okay, so let's review. What do we have? So the removal of the titles this is very deeply rooted and solid and, and rooted in the monarchy. They want to put a stop to it because of all the crazy messaging coming out of Harry and Meghan. They just don't feel... They, they, the people of Sussex, uh, Brighton and Hove specifically, feel that Meghan and Harry have completely departed from the, the, the monarchy with all this virtue signaling. And they're just reacting. Okay, and they should. Uh, they're very upset about all this ridiculous things coming out of their mouths, and they're upset about it. Okay, so even if others others really like, you know, this this very woke messaging, you know, this very woke social justice messaging, there are other people like the people of Sussex who absolutely hate it, and they hate it so much. They're like, we don't even want you to be the Duke of Sussex. We don't want you to be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex because you don't represent us. 
Okay, and that's how democracy works, and they have every right to to object. Okay, so will it come to a vote? Uh, will they get the 1,250 votes? They got 905 right now. Three days before they had six. Now they've got 905. Yeah, they're gonna. It's gonna come to a vote. This this petition about the situation. It's gonna come to a vote, an official vote. It's going to come to a vote. Okay. Will Meghan and Harry intervene to prevent this? Yeah, they're gonna do everything they can. Uh, and they're going to work the electronic, you know, they've got Instagram and they've got social media and Megan is the social media queen. So maybe they'll create a new petition. I don't know. That seems like a bad idea. I'm not strategizing properly, but they, you know, I'm just thinking they could create a new petition to ensure that, you know, to celebrate that they are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex or something, but that's a bad idea. So don't take this Magi's idea seriously. Okay, so will appear, appearance, will they appear in Sussex for a big splash, you know, free beer for everybody? No, they're going to work behind the scenes. They're going to work everything behind the scenes to try to keep their reputation good. They're going to do everything they can to keep their reputation good from behind the scenes. They're not going to show up because that could really backfire. And, you know, this small group of angry people, you know, could really sour everything. You know, like the first time Trump went to uh, England, they had the big fat orange baby, orange man bad. And just these few people really soured everything. And then the next time he came, it was rather positive. You know, so that could definitely, you know, they could make a an effigy or something of Harry and Meghan and, and just, you know, float it on a balloon and, and it just looks really bad because the cameras, they focus in very tightly and you're not seeing the whole picture. Okay, so we'll, what is the royal family's position? Well, outwardly, they just want the best for everybody and they're just going to act as things come up. But behind the scenes, they're really able to manifest their will and they are a bit sour on Harry and Meghan right now. And I I would predict that, you know, Harry and Meghan are are not long for England. They're, uh, something is really gonna happen. They're gonna send them off to Africa or Harry and Meghan are going to, uh, you know, declare that they're going on their own because they've collected a whole bunch of money from the Illuminati and they're just gonna run their own charities. This is gonna happen very soon. Big, big, big changes are coming up very soon for Meghan and Harry. And it's either Africa or L.A. at this point. And if they go to L.A., I think they're really leaving the royal, the royal family. So that's how I see it. That's your royalty today. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.